Cheers and welcome my friends to Let's Try Expeditions Viking. Welcome back, I'm Horat Drak and in the last episode we arrived here in Funen um, prepared to plunder a grave of a king to gain enough valuables to um, load our boat up with um, trade goods and we ran into a armed robbery I'd say so we decided to help, we followed the bandits, we brought them down, we found the bandit leader we brought him down and now we're going to return the wooden figurine that uh, he stole. Um, let us have a look at it. Simple yet compelling figurine of a young woman carved from wood. Okay, uh, one of the uh, things that we have is I've been lightly injured. Can be treated during camping by assigning the task to a person who is versed in the art of healing. So, oh yeah, I guess because I ran through that trap. Crap. Well, that can happen. That can happen. Maybe I should have just tried to spot it or something. Um, what's that? Watchtower. Sacrificial site. That's sort of a bog. Well, let's just go back and deliver that stuff to the farmer. There's a watchtower. Just want to bring that, that sort of stuff back. Uh, we don't really want to hold on to it. Don't want to steal from him. There's the inconspicuous farmer again. Uh, the, the the lumberjack. Why am I uh, moving along here? I don't really know. I guess the the perspective um, fools me every time. It would be kind of nice to have a key that sort of always centers me um, in the north south axis. I haven't found one yet. I hope it's going to be in the finish game. So let's move along. Didn't really get to do any grave robbing. Uh, it looks like we won't be able to do it just yet. So let's save. Let's see what we can get out of this. I mean, we did a good deed here. Let's see what they have to say. So, Otko Sigtrickson, I hope you are properly thankful. Did, did, did you find the robber? D do you have grandfather's figurine? I have it. He takes the figurine from you with great care, inspects it for damage, then places it reverently on a nearby shelf. Th thank you so much, young man. C can't possibly repay you for what you've done. Please take this old pelt as a token of our eternal gratitude. So I gained skill points and I gained one hide? Are you... Dude! That's, that's not enough. Maybe I should just shake this guy down. Oi, th thank you for your courage. We have so little I couldn't bear to lose the last of my g grandfather's old figurines. Uh, okay, I guess he doesn't have much. I mean, I already plundered him. Maybe he's he's mad about that. I'm gonna plunder this. No, there's nothing in there. Okay, then. Um, so just one pelt. That's a little bit sad. Let's see what we can get. We do have the fortune favorite already. Can't get that, which would be really nice. Armor piercing for all attacks. I do want the strider, so I have to wait a little bit longer. That's also nice, the sneak attack. What about you? You have nine points now. We do have the quick feet. We do have that. Fencer, uh, fortune favorite. I think we want that for you. Oh, you also have the nine points, so let's definitely get that. Upgrade the movement. Uh, what do you have? Relentless? It's fine. Critical chance? No. 10% damage on enemies that have downed any ally. I mean, that's cool, but sounds awfully situational. Point blank. Mm, support skills. We kind of want to go this route um, even more so that we can do more healing. So I think we're going to save the points with her. You, um, you do have the quick feet. Good patient. Let's go for this. Oh no, you have you have actually nine. So let's go for that one then. Good. And her. Hmm. Can't really hurt to have the quick feet. I mean, it's it's kind of useful to move around um, the enemy without having too many problems. 
Okay, well, this is done. I can't increase the bow skill anymore. Mm, witchcraft, no. That's damage. I mean, critical chance for all attacks is actually pretty good. So let's go with that. Now we have four points left. Yeah, let's go for... Well, now we're not really using it with him. So we're not using normal attacks. So we won't profit from the relentless thing. That's not that's not necessarily a thing. Now, should I go back to the campsite and heal my guy up? Um, I don't really want to stumble into the grave with a punctured chest <laughs> that's that's not something i relish so i think we're going to i think we're just gonna go for a quick camp just a very quick camp so run 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 come on um it's a very bad shelter <laughs> it has high security but it's a bad shelter let's get over there anyways um let's enter the campsite I mean, we could clear out a better shelter, but I'm not sure it's really worth it. Oh, come on. God damn it. That stuff really doesn't work anymore. Yeah, that... No, that, that still doesn't do it. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. For that. Yeah, okay. That did it. I think that's better. Uh, I hope. So let's let's go camping. Uh, security is low. Aslifer, you're really good at guarding. So let's guard. Um, Aedis, you can you can heal. So heal me. So how does that work? Light puncture. If you don't treat your patient before reaching this point, you must suffer the consequences, which in most cases are death or permanent injuries. Mm, so medicine cost. We have sixty medicine. So we're gonna we're gonna treat me. Let's try to heal more. So the injury has already been assigned. That reduces my endurance. Yeah, that's not good. No, let's let's have a look. Who's who's better? Are you better at healing? Heal rank three. No, that's fine. So we're gonna try to heal me here. Um, get some rest. Oh no, let's let's preserve, and then you get a little bit of rest. Gunnar, you're pretty good at guarding, so guard the place over here. And then you're gonna guard over here, and you're gonna guard over here. That way, we should have a pretty nice um, defense. You're gonna go hunting for let's say two shifts. Um, Nefia, you're gonna go scout for two shifts let's say i mean and we're not really low on resources so i guess that's fine roskwell you can preserve for one and then you healed so i'm getting treated so that takes up that one shift for me um other than that i'm just gonna rest to try and sleep it off um, and then i think when i'm done i'm um, okay i can't do anything here does anyone want to clean the campsite? I don't think they're going to do it voluntarily. <laughs> so let her do it then. Um, you can clean. And that should be fine. We're not too well guarded, but it's it's okay. So yeah, let's make camp. Roskwa spending zero medicine. Okay, so my injuries moved from moderate to light. We're loading. I'm not sure why. Am I still am I still injured? Is the question. Healthy, healthy, healthy. No, I'm healthy as well. Let's leave camp. We haven't really rested. And let's see let's see over here. I'm healthy. Um, all my points are back, so that's fine, I think. I think I moved four points from here. Put one, two, three over there. And a couple over here. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. I guess I'm alright. 
So yeah, let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back to the camping site. We really want to get some stuff done. Uh, not always um, hang around. We're not going to take a Rosqua. We're going to take Adis, the brawler. Let's go in there. So that cost us a pretty long time. I'm still kind of miffed that the farmer didn't give me anything other than one stinky hide. Guess you, guess you can't expect more. Um, so how are we going to go about this? So we have a watchtower. We have a meeting site. We have a sacrificial site, and we have that farmhouse. I guess we're going to just go straight over here to um, sort of um, maybe meet the town, find out what happened. This is where we got this is where we got sidetracked because they they got mugged. There's an, an oak. There's some more fields over here. We can move into the fields, but there's nothing happening in there. So let's just get out of it again. More fields. More fields. Okay, that seems to be the beginning of a settlement. So let's just have a look. Yeah, that that looks promising, sort of. Can't talk with you. Good luck on your travels. Okay, that's friendly. I appreciate it. Let's take some. Let's take some stuff to. Um, Sort of dominate these guys. We're gonna make it known that we are here. Yeah, all your stuff is now mine. I'm gonna take it. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I'm even gonna rob the grave of your king. Watch me. Um, okay, let's take that one. They do have their their well over here. Maybe I can talk with Lynn Bergfin's daughter. You should talk to our Goldie by the temple. Yeah, that might be an idea. As soon as I'm done looting all the things, all the things. It's not stealing though. Um, the game does um, distinguish between stealing and just taking random stuff, I guess. So there are some pigs sleeping. They must be really cold. What's that? Basket, string, cloth. I'm all I'm taking all of this stuff just like in Fallout where I, where I collected all the things and never really did anything with it. We gained some salvage over here. He's not gonna say anything yet. I guess we just gotta go to the go to the Gordy. Just gonna leave the looting for later. Geir Björn, good luck on your travels. I know this is the way out again. Got completely sidetracked here. Come on. Focus man. Think. Oh, there's Otkel the goalie. No, okay, so fine. Let's save. Let's see what he has to say. The man who meets you as he enters the hamlet is dressed in the plain clothes of a farmer, but a tangled web of talismans around his neck indicates his position in the community. His demeanor is polite but cautious. Well met, warriors. <clears throat> well met, warriors. I am Otkel the goalie. What errand brings you through our small village? <laughs> um, shall I alarm them to the intentions of our stuff? Do we gain anything by talking to these guys even? I mean, I could just go and plunder the grave. It's not really a thing. We're here to visit the grave up on that hill. <laughs> Ah, oh, indeed. Then I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. But that grave is closed under my protection and that of our community. It is a dark place where an ancient king lies buried and the underground ones guard his treasure jealously. Who are the underground ones? Those creatures who live beneath the earth. Dwarves, elves, the spirits of the ancestors. Those who entered the grave are never seen again. <laughs> what can be done to gain the favor of such creatures? He smiles purely out of politeness. For what purpose? Um, what shall we say? That we may be granted victory in battle, fertility, or that we may be brought luck on a long voyage. Yeah, I'm gonna say the voyage thing. 
His gaze is vacant in a way that makes you think you might have given him any reason. That you might have given him any reason and his answer would be the same. A noble cause worthy of our aid. However, the powers that dwell in that place are not benevolent. Such a thing requires a sacrifice. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> the underground ones require a life, a human life. <laughs> I can I can go completely callous here. I have no problem with that. Kill anyone you like. I don't care. Um, will thralls do? I guess that is sort of the halfway option. Will thralls do? Of course. Although the life of a thrall is not as valuable as the life of a free man, in such a case, three lives may be required. Hmm. He wants a human sacrifice. I'm not sure I should be really dealing with him. I mean, I know that um, the... Norse or Germanic faith sort of had human sacrifices for for stuff. It's still kind of rough, though. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Um, hmm, should we go with one free man? Or go with three thralls? Or can we just... Uh, we might just be able to brute force it. I don't know. I mean, how tough can these underground creatures really be? I mean, if they can hurt you, they can die through a sword or die by a sword. No? Uh, killing one free man. I've killed dozens of men. It's not like you can't kill, but bringing someone to a sacrifice is kind of... A weird thing killing someone in the heat of battle um, that's something that I can't understand but sort of killing someone in cold blood it takes a lot more craziness to do that that is too steep a price a shadow falls across his face what you ask will risk the wrath of the underground ones if your petition should fail their punishment will befall my community as much as it will befall you. One free man or woman, or the lives of three thralls. That is the price to enter the tomb. Pay it or leave. I have to consider this. The goatee gives no further reply except a stern nod. Yeah, these guys are hardcore. These guys are hardcore. They want to see people dead. <laughs> Crazy. Um, guess I have to mull this over. I think we're going to have a look at the surroundings. Uh, let's just plunder you because you are a dick. Can't enter any of these things. Good luck on your travels. I mean, the villagers are nice enough, but their goatee is a freak. I don't know how if the game has fantasy elements like the underground ones or if it's just the um, villagers that are playing make-believe. Oh, we got a knife. Nifer. Nifer. And what's in there? Iron. You can live with that. So we're sort of to the east. Where's the tomb actually? Where's the tomb? Is that the way to the tomb? Might be. Let's save. There's a lot of wood lying around. These people seem to have a lot of a lot of time cutting all that wood, um, making it into um, a, a, a nice form that you can build stuff with, and then just letting it lie around. What's with you? Aha! Some fly scamp. Oh, that, that was too fast for me. Sorry, you can you can pause and read that, but it's not really like I can say anything. Some flick swamp for later. 
Well, what is that? What is that? There's a campaign marker. So we can leave the map. But what is that? What is? What are these guys doing? Oh, there, there's a dead person. There's a dead person. What are you doing here? The murderer didn't even bother to retrieve the knife. No sign of the animals that pulled the cart. Okay. That's gruesome. Who would do such a thing? Isn't that a point of interest? Sort of. Meeting site. I mean, if he didn't retrieve the knife, I'd like to have the knife, please. Can I can I have that? Please? Pretty please? No. Okay. Um, nothing over here. Where's that grave site? Where's that grave site? I wanna I wanna find it. I wanna find it. I gotta play I gotta play zoomed out so that I can have a good look at my surroundings. There's nothing over here. We're just creeping around the edges of the map, trying to oh that's that's doing some weird stuff to us. Let's not do that. Hope you uh, don't puke. Okay, there are some people. Uh, let's see if we can interact with them. At the sound of branches crunching under your feet, a young man jumps up from the campfire, sword and shield in hand, and challenges you in a voice that is surprisingly gruff for his age. Who's there? Oh, yeah, can't really do that voice without uh, killing my own voice. Who's there? Um... My name is Thorgrim Ragnarsson. What are you doing here in the middle of the woods? Oh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about the dead man on the wagon down the road. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it's these guys. Aye, I found him too. Part of the reason why we decided to camp in here. Out of sight of any roaming bandits. Um, oh, that's awfully crazy. Someone might mistake you for game and put an arrow in you. One can never be too careful. Don't really want to attack that guy. I'm not sure we are the ones just slaughtering innocent people. One can never be too careful. He nods. That's my thinking. Okay. Not Arthur Bjornofsson. What about you? You're not going to say anything? can take stuff and uh, we're going to because why not I'm greedy like that oh a lot of money there mm, just trying to see if I can gain um, any swords or stuff I, mean, I, c I could fight him but I saw that dead man and back again what is it this time Goodbye for now. Uh, so it seems that we that we will be able to interact with him in some form or fashion. Mm, he's a free man. <laughs> we might want to sacrifice him. I'm not sure if we really have to sacrifice anyone though. Uh, that's my problem. I don't really want to commit to a gruesome act like that out um, you know, just willy nilly. It's not really a thing that I want to have on my conscience. Just uh, like I don't want to stab an innocent man in the woods there. What's this? This looks like it's a hill. Looks like that's got some altitude to it. That might be the, the grave hill. Uh, I'm getting paranoid here. There's another campaign marker. None of our guys are fatigued. None of them are injured. I don't think. Yeah, this this is the, the hill, I think. I always have to be on the lookout for those little cairns. Oh, that's something. That's something. What's what is this? Small stash. There's nothing here. Crap. Come on. Give me something. I wouldn't say no to a nice sword, you know. There's another campaign marker. How many of these are there? I mean, I guess it's a pretty big map, but still. There's a house. Rangfaster Kovson. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. I mean, that's half of every RPG, right? Just bumbling around, asking random strangers about stuff and intruding in their business. A man wearing the leather apron of a woodworker looks up from a cabbage patch and raises his hand in greeting. Well met, travelers. Have you come to commissal... I mean, commission a boat? 
You build boats. Cool. I have some questions about the nearby hamlet. Oh yeah, I can ask this guy. So you build boats. An almost imperceptible sigh of disappointment. I take that as a no. But that's right. I built the sturdiest, most nimber, I mean, nimble riverboats on the island. <laughs> he does seem to have a little bit of a speech impediment there. Us life crosses his arms, but it's two miles to the coast. Aye, but here I'm surrounded by quality timber. Sides. I like the piece of the woods. What of it? How do you sell anything way out, way out here? <laughs> I don't see why all this is so important to you, but I'll humor you. On the off chance you might actually buy a boat. <laughs> I have friends in the coastal towns who take the boats off my hands and resell them. And before you ask, they cart them off on carts, uh, on wagons, you see? Apart from that, my boats are just so good people come out here to buy them. Now, will you be buying a boat or not? Mm. There was a pretty big bog um, that we could see. Maybe we can use a, a boat to kind of circumvent some stuff. Um, if you remember, when we, when we went off the bandits, maybe we can do that. He's not selling ships, just boats. I have some questions about the nearby hamlet. Can't tell you much about those folks. I stay clear. Their obsession with the old tomb is unsettling. Eh, unsettling. I mean unsettling. <laughs> How do you mean? Talk to him. You'll see. <laughs> Why do you keep correcting yourself? He gives you an unhappy look. I'm good with wood. I'm not so good with words. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about the tomb? It's old. Been here longer than me at last, at least. Lots of people come out here looking for treasure. Never seen anyone leave rich, though. In fact, a group of men came this way a few days ago asking about the tomb as well. Don't know if they ended up getting in. Thanks for your time. If you ever need a boat, you know where to find me. I'm not going to buy your stupid boat, but... I'm gonna take your stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, so there is a group of travelers just ahead of us. That's interesting. I wonder what happened to them. Because our friendly um, Goldie didn't mention anything about them. He, he might have just as well said something, but he didn't. I don't take that too kindly. I wonder if um, the locals just make a living by slaughtering everyone that, that comes to their tomb. And uh, that they are kind of fueling the um, the tomb myth to to um, lure more and more people in. It sounds kind of it's kind of sinister, but um, they don't really make a very friendly um, very friendly impression. So we've been over there. As so we've been over here, sort of. Can't go through the woods over there. Just doing the old exploration thingy. What's down here? There's there are some herbs over here. Let's take that. Three herbs. You harvested a bishop's wart. Yields three herbs. Okay, so that's the that's the tomb hill. We can't get up there. What's that? It looks nasty. It looks really nasty. There's nothing up here. There's nothing up here. No one is commenting on this either. Hmm, okay, okay, let me just quick save here. I wonder if we can get in. Oh yeah, here's the um, here's the door and here's the refer Kluxon. Let's talk with him. Oh, I can't get, I can't get down there. Come on, come on dude. No, come on. That. Just go down the hill. Yes, very nice. Okay, well done, well done. I salute you for that. So there are some guys. Four people, three men and a woman, stand on either side of the entrance to the passage grave, chatting casually with one another. 
as if the concept of full-time guards to protect a burial mound in the middle of nowhere isn't unusual enough, they all appear to be uncommonly well armed. All guards draw their weapons when you approach the big stone slab that blocks the entrance to the grave. The woman speaks. Well met. What's your business? I can examine the guards. I can stab her. Both are medium things. So, against whom do you guard this entrance? Or are we looking to get into the grave? I'm not quite ready to pick a fight. I'm gonna try to, to examine them. Uh, keep in mind, my character is as blind as a bat. Let's try it. Oh, it failed! They all wear chainmail and carry swords and shields. Equipment far beyond what a small village should be able to afford. There's something very off about their whole setup but you just can't put your finger on it. Against whom do you guard this entrance? She shrugs, a casual gesture, but her eyes are darting between you and your herdmen. Against everyone who doesn't have permission to enter. How might one gain such permission? A small nod towards the village. Perhaps she doesn't want to expose herself by raising her arm to point. She's very guarded. Talk to the Goldie Otkel down in the temple. Um, we're looking to get into the grave. Her voice takes on a stiff character as though she's reciting. This place is under the protection of the underground ones. Only those who seek to pay their respects by way of sacrifice will be granted entry. What sort of sacrifice? Another nod towards the hamlet. As I explained, you should talk to Otko. Okay, we'll go to your. We we'll talk to your Godi. So, what do they have? They have a spear guy, an archer guy, they have her. Um, let's just do a quick save here. They do have this guy, who's um, clad in, in mail, has a helmet, has a shield, and is carrying an axe. I guess he's their toughest fighter, Refer. Mm, and there is Erik Asbjörnason, okay. It would be cool to kind of find the um, the son of the Godi um, that Aid is mentioned. Maybe we can get some information out of him. So I gotta gotta look through the village again. I think um, uh, that's not too much out here other than that. So that's the entrance, the bur entrance to the burial mound. That's the hermit's house. I think. Oh no, we already talked with him. That's the boat builder, I guess. That's the small camp. That's the campaign map. Mm, the meeting site. We haven't really explored this and we have to explore this and sort of the edges of the map, which I think we're going to do in the next episode just to sort of um, finish the map. And then we gotta got to decide um, how we're going to approach this. If we're going to try to be sneaky, if we're going to try to get the goodwill of the village or if we just sort of brute force it and slaughter them all. We might be able to do it it might come at a cost though, so I'm not sure how we're going to approach it yet, but it's going to be interesting to do it. So, um, but for now, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing if you aren't already. I hope you join me next time when we will be trying to lift the secret of this tomb and the secret uh, of this village as well, I think. Uh, there must be a reason why they're doing this. Um, I'm just at the moment I'm thinking it's some sort of elaborate scheme that they're trying to um, yeah take take money out of travelers and uh, guys that try to lift stuff off the tomb but we'll, we'll see hope you join me for that thanks bye bye